This is the caddisfly larvae. Some may know it also as the caddisfly worms. There are about 21 families and 1400 species in North America. The larvae make these silk threads which they use as a glue to make these casings that they live in. Though not all species of the caddisfly larvae make these casings. The casings can be made out of different matter that they find on the bottom of the creek, such as the dead leaves, the cut vegetation, sand, stones, and sticks. They use the silk threads to glue these things together to form these casings with the opening at one end. These casings help protect them and give them camouflage within the stream. They live inside these casings and they can move about or they can stay still within a stream. And the current within a stream brings food to them. They go through metamorphosis from the larvae stage to the pupae stage within this casing. Then they come out and shortly thereafter they'll again go into the adult form and leave the water. As you can see here, he sticks his front pair of legs out and he's able to move about. So this casing does not keep him in one position or one place within the creek. He is able to move about. Depending on the species, it depends on what they use for the casings. You can see here the opening at one end of the tube. The rest of it is sealed. He lives with inside this casing. Though when I pick him up he does go back inside. <laughs> 